Good afternoon and welcome to my outdoor study. My name is Ron, I'm your host, and it is my pleasure to share a daily devotional with you. And I'd like to say that this channel is dedicated to all those who want to rise up with wings like eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Amen. We are going to close out Nehemiah today, uh, and then uh, we'll get into Esther, the last of the books of the history of the Israelites. But let's get uh, into today's reading, again, in chapter 9 of Nehemiah. But our ancestors were proud and stubborn, and they paid no attention to your commands. They refused to obey and did not remember the miracles you had done for them. Instead, they became stubborn and appointed a leader to take them back to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a good you are a God of forgiveness. Gracious and merciful, slow to become angry, and rich in unfailing love. You did not abandon them. Is that amazing or what? I can't comprehend that kind of love. The Israelites turned away from God so many times so far in their history. It uh, just leaves my jaw dropping open. But let's continue. But despite all this, you they were disobedient and rebelled against you. They turned their backs on your law. They killed your prophets and warned them to re- who warned them to return to you and they committed terrible blasphemies so you handed them over to their enemies who made them suffer but in their time of trouble they cried to you and you heard them from heaven in your great mercy you sent them liberators who rescued them from their enemies But as soon as they were at peace, your people again committed evil in your sight. And once more, you let their enemies conquer them. Yet, whenever your people turned and cried to you again for help, you listened. You listened once more from heaven. And your wonderful mercy, you rescued them many times. Isn't that the truth? We've read time and time again how the Jews praised God, and then they turned away from God, came back to God. It's incredible. You warned them to return to your law, but they became proud and obstinate and disobeyed your commands. They did not follow your regulations by which people will find life if only they obey. If only they obey. That's all we have to do. And we don't have anywhere near the rules and regulations they had back before Christ came. Because we have Jesus as our Savior, he died for our sins, all of our sins, once and for all. All we have to do is accept Christ as our Savior. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. 
It just isn't rocket science. Amen? Amen. Again, I just can't fathom that kind of love. That God would just keep on forgiving. But we have an amazing God who will just continually and continually forgive and forget. That is truly something to meditate on. This is Friday. We're getting into the weekend. It's going to be a gorgeous one down here. You all have an amazing rest of your day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. And the word for today is still ubiquitous. Take care. Talk to you tomorrow.